is the uh, the grinding method I use for blades that have got a sort of a, a, a straight edge slant cut on them, like like the Tanto style there, um, because I'd like to keep it parallel, nice and straight. So what you do is leaving all your the setup as it was. The the te templates, uh, sorry, the uh, jig is still set up at the correct angle, so we don't have to change that around for the other knives or anything. Is you need to work out where, it, what sort of angle it needs to be, and the easiest way is to hold it so that it's touching the belt. Angle this in the right place. Somewhere there, so that this edge. Uh, let's see if I can find the. Uh, something to sh help show you. Where are we? Yeah. Help steel scribe. So basically, this edge needs to be in contact with the, uh, the grinding belt or sanding belt all the way down from this point up to the top work, which will be the, the bottom edge of the bevel that's along the top here but when that's on there it should the angle there should be the same angle as the, the bevel is its, itself um, so if we use this, our gauge, run it along this, you should be able to see that that is pretty much flat with the edge of the belt there and at 90 in flat with this side which is at 90 degrees to the blade which should be 12 mil on this one, uh, 12 degrees sorry and it is yeah so once we've got that where we need it, moved it a little bit there. Once we've got that where we need it, we need to m m clamp a uh, a bar such as this a piece of angle bracket. need to clamp this to our table so that uh, we can maintain this angle. Uh, you can do it by hand but if you're not very good at, well not, I say not very good, but if you're not that experienced with uh, knife making and grinding and whatnot then it's probably best to try and do as much as you can with jigs and guides and sort of things like that. So, I lodge that on there should keep that balanced. Make sure everything's still set up. Take a little bit of fiddling around with the clamps to get them to the right size. I like to use these parallel, uh, parallel, <laughs> parallel jaws uh, vices because they uh, they can get a li little bit more um, leverage to clamp with, and they're a little bit more precise to use. That's one. Make sure everything's still set up. Make sure that doesn't tip off. Right, and that should be alright. And uh, basically, what we do is we keep the uh, the jig level with this bar that we've mounted, and slide it in so that gradually and move it back out so that it uh, grinds our bevel. So I shall get my uh, goggles and ear defenders on. Not very warm in here today. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we'll see, well I'll show you how this goes. Now this is slight the jig is slightly off so that it's very fractionally narrower at this bottom edge than it is at the top there. So we need to adjust this the back edge out very slightly. So It may take a little bit of uh, trial and error at first to get it there, but it will make a lot a neater job of uh, what it is you're trying to do. Let's try that. should be able to see that that's a lot better to par actually a parallel line on that now um, see if you can get the best angle on this there you go you can see that it's starting to create a parallel line so we need to go down again to our off center marks if you put off center marks on but to the same point as our uh, previous grind and uh, and that will be it ground to obviously do the same on the other side flip the, the blade over again and change this so that it's angled this way but exactly the same principle
so it doesn't take long to do that. And let's see if you can see that. That's uh, that's about done now that side. So we need to flip the blade over in the uh, jig. Now we'll uh, test this side to make sure it's still, uh, or it's, make sure it's set up okay. And that's done now. So uh, let's see. That's let's see if we can get this light to shine in just the right place for you, so you can actually see it. Um, not sure how well you can see the the bevel on the edge, the end edge, whichever. <laughs> so you should. Should be able to see it on there. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, where are we over there? So that's beveled in on that side and on that side, and it's down to uh, about half a mil thickness, the same as the the rest of it on there. So now, and we can move on to the uh, hardening and uh, temperature adjustment.